Hi guys, it's Kira from Plaid. Welcome back to our new product showcase for 2021. Thanks for joining us all week if you have been able to tune in and welcome if this is your first time checking out our new product showcase for 2021. Again, we're excited. We have been excited all week. There's been a lot going on here in the studio, a lot of buzz about all our new products and inspiration. Today, we are going to be talking about Folk Art One Decor Paint, and I've got Kirsten here in the studio, and she's gonna be crafting for us. So we're really excited to showcase this new product. Again, if you have been able to join us all week, we've started the week talking about Mod Podge. We introduced Mod Podge resin, so if you haven't caught that, you definitely wanna check out that new product. We talked about some new Mod Podge formulas. Yesterday, we talked all about um, Folk Art. We had some great new formulas and our Folk Art sign shop. So a lot of great information. And we have put together a landing page for you on platonline.com slash new which you can find all this information. So you definitely wanna check that out. Tamara in the chat is gonna go ahead and put all those links for you. So she's gonna be popping in and chatting with you and putting links in so it'll make it really easy to find all this information and inspiration about this new product. Also, you wanna check out our YouTube channel because again, we have done great videos for all this product and we really break it down and make it so simple and easy. So she'll also put the line, um, also put the website for our YouTube channel so you guys can just click that link and check out all our videos that we have. All of these lives will be available also on our YouTube channel. I have the iPad here, so I will be answering any questions and chatting with you live. So if you want to know something or have an idea or comment, let me know and I'll relay them to Kirsten and we'll try to get them answered for you. Again, Tamara will be chatting in the chat on the comments. Um, so folk art, one decor paint. So thrifting, um, trash to treasure, redoing furniture is hotter than ever. I think especially because people have been in home and you've been staring at that same old piece of furniture or you've cleaned out your garage or your basement, your attic, and you're like, oh, I have this furniture, what can I do with it? And it's been a movement and I think it's just still getting bigger and better than ever. And a couple years ago, we came out with Folk Art Home Decor Chalk and that is an ultra matte paint and it is no prep, you can layer and distress beautifully. It's got that great rustic farmhouse feel and it has been one of our most popular formulas in the Folk Art line. Well, we have done an update to the line and added to our Folk Art line an eggshell and gloss finish that you can redo your furniture, redo your home decor. It is um, no prep. You just need to start with clean, dry furniture, and Kirsten's going to talk all about how you actually use this product. But it makes a great complement to our Ultra Matte Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. Now we have eggshell and gloss. So amazing product. It is indoor-outdoor. It is a paint and sealer in one. Again, you're not going to have to do a lot of prep. It glides on beautifully, and wait till you see Kirsten using this product. It is amazing for furniture flips, trash to treasure. Um, it is just amazing. We have a beautiful color palettes. So you can see here our eggshell finish, the most beautiful home decor colors, great neutrals, beautiful grays and tans and creams, but also really fun pops and trend colors. I mean, this aqua, the blue, the magenta, the coral, so literally any color you can imagine for your furniture and home decor we have in this line. We also have a beautiful color palette for our gloss. We've got six colors, more home decor and a black and white, but again, just a great contrast to the matte and the eggshell. So we have three beautiful finishes to completely redo your home decor. So Kirsten is gonna get started crafting. And again, if you guys have questions, let us know and we'll try to get them answered for you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining us. Exactly like Kira said, for years I loved folk art chalk paint and now it's got, a, it's got some competition. So this one decor paint is exactly what Kira said. It works perfect on furniture. The coverage that you don't have to prep, you don't have to seal, you don't have to prime your surface, whether it be wood, whether it be unfinished wood, maybe it's base coated or stenciled, or just something that you wanna brighten up with a beautiful color palette. We have got all of that. So what I wanna show you guys is just how perfect the paint works. The eggshell finish is absolutely my favorite. So this was just an old cutting board that I had. It was, um, it was stained just a little bit, but then it aged. I just cleaned it, make sure it was a clean surface. I didn't strip it, I didn't prime it. I didn't have to do anything. 
I am gonna show you how beautiful, give it a shake. You wanna always shake your paint before you use it. A great thing, these all come in an eight ounce size, which using the paint right out of the bottle is a great thing that you can do. You don't have to use it, use a palette and waste some of your paint. So I wanna show you guys the coverage that you get. This is just a basic flat brush. I'm dipping it right into that wide mouth jar. I didn't prep this, I didn't prime it, I just made sure it was clean and dry. And you can see how beautiful this paint goes on. And that will dry to, the, to a smooth eggshell finish. The greatest thing about this also is this will be sealed as you're painting it. The sealer is inside the paint. So once this dries, there's no need to varnish it. This could be indoor, this could be outdoor, and it works on every surface. That is just one coat. That color is so vibrant and beautiful. And you can just see if that was a dresser or an old end table, how beautiful that would be for home decor. I also want to show you guys, so that is an old piece maybe that I got at the Goodwill. This works so good on accent pieces for your home decor. This is just an unfinished frame. Again, we just sanded it, but you don't need to base coat it. You don't need to prime it. And all you do, again, you always want to shake your Folk Art One Decor, but I'm going to use it right out of the bottle. Unfinished, raw wood. You can see how beautiful the coverage that that paint just goes on so smooth. And again, will dry to the most beautiful eggshell finish. Yeah, so some people have questions. Can you use the gloss and the eggshell together? And Kirsten actually has a project when she gets to the gloss. Oh, we're going to show you the difference between the two and how they work hand in hand together. It's absolutely beautiful because they accent each other. So they work together, but they're also beautiful alone. Yep. And you can just see the coverage on there. That is one coat and it will dry to a beautiful eggshell finish. It settles on there. So any imperfections in your wood are not going to show and you never have to seal it. It's perfect for indoor or for outdoor. And somebody had a question. Can you use this on a terracotta pot and not have to seal it? And because it's indoor outdoor, it is great for terracotta pots. Absolutely. In fact, we did these little cute terracotta pots just to show you guys. We didn't prime the terracotta. We didn't do anything to it. And you can see how beautiful the finish is. And this could go indoor or outdoor and not be sealed at all. So the, the versatility of this paint is just endless. Okay, so I also want to show you something that's really fun with this is always the big projects, the in, or the furniture, um, the accent pieces, but it also is a paint that you can both stencil with, you can blend, you can ombre. So I want to show you how easy it is to make this cute little ombre. So all I did, I'm going to use three colors, and I know Kira mentioned it, but the color palette is both complete, but it's also thought out so that all the colors really complement each other. So the blues kind of match, the greens kind of match. You have a total palette, but then you can use it together, whether you're making florals or ombre or just blending your colors. So these totally different colors work perfectly to create this beautiful ombre. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put those three colors. Again, you always want to give it a shake. I'm going to put those on my palette just since we're going to be ombre not too much because again you get such good coverage i'm going to put those on there a little bit separate from each other you can see i don't need too much because it goes so far and a little bit of the white the whites in this line are beautiful there's actually a few um, and they're just a really soft pastels in some of the whites that are both a neutral and a trend color. So what I did here, just to, just to be prepared, is I did one base coat color on the bottom, which will be the bottom part of my ombre. I let that dry. Sometimes the dark colors on a light surface need two coats, but sometimes they don't. So just really depending on what um, surface that you are working on. So I did one coat of the dark and I let that dry. And now I'm going to have three brushes just so I can blend while I am making that ombre pattern. I am going to actually use the dark color and go over my stripe. You want your paint to be wet while you're creating the ombre so you don't create stripes. You create that soft blend in the middle. So there's my dark color. 
I'm going to get another brush, and that is my medium tone blue. And you can see the lighter color, how great that coverage is. It's rich and creamy, and it just goes on beautifully. If you pick up a little of the dark color, that's actually okay. But to get your base coat started, you just want to do that medium tone above your dark stripe. Okay, then I'm going to remove some of that paint just on a paper towel, and I'm just going to softly blend where those two colors meet, dabbing it on the paper towel if you get too much of one color. Oh, there we go. So you can see the paint does not muddy, the colors stay separate but then they blend in the middle. That's because of that formula is so perfect for blending, stenciling, shading, but also for large projects that you're just cre creating one color with. Okay, so then using my third brush, I'm gonna take some of that white and I'm gonna put that above my light blue. Again, you can see how it base coats beautifully using a different brush moving a little bit on my paper towel and then all I want to do is lightly blend those colors together. The main thing I want you guys to see is just how rich the colors are and how blending and shading is so easy and those colors, oh there we go, those colors do not muddy up. You get such a beautiful ombre. But it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. And you could do this on a giant dresser or a coffee table, and that would be absolutely stunning. You could do different drawers on a piece that maybe you got at the Goodwill. So this paint is perfect for all of that. And this, again, remember, this will dry with a sealer in it, so there's no need to seal this. And then this can go right outside. And someone's asking, will it work on glass and cement? So absolutely, it'll work uh -huh. on glass and cement. Yep, it so, works on plastic, glass, mm -hmm. cement. Kira had a great point when we were setting up today. So I've got beautiful furniture pieces in the back. And a lot of the knobs are just what came from the Goodwill. And they're cute, but instead of having to change them, we painted right over them. And some of them were metal, some of them were wood, some of them were even ceramic. And the paint works perfect on all those different surfaces. Yeah, I want to comment. The set looks so beautiful and all that furniture and those vases, that is all folk art one decor back there. So yep. you can see how beautiful and vibrant those colors are. They are, And they just started out as yucky pieces of furniture. Yep. Yep. And again, just painted the furniture, painted the hardware. You could paint it tonal. You could ombre it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so I think Dylan's getting some close-ups there. Like this is just craft boxes, some were stenciled, like Kira said, and we just added all these beautiful solid colors. Again, candlesticks. Yep. This one is actually ceramic. It was like a clear, mm -hmm. kind of a cream ceramic. This one is wood. This one, I think, might have even been might have been concrete, but we just added that beautiful color palette and it works so good on any surface. And the greatest thing is these candlesticks could go from your inside table to your outside table, which would be perfect. This is a cute little guy. We're focused on furniture and the home decor end of it, but this cute little gnome <laughs> was old and chipped and all of his little colors were faded. And all we did is clean him. We didn't prime him, we didn't sand him. And then we painted him with a new color palette that matched perfectly for us. So again, it's just perfect for little home decor items, indoor or outdoor, but also for furniture. Okay, so in addition to Folk Art One Decor, like Kira had mentioned, we have One Decor Gloss, which the gloss is such a popular trend right now. Everyone wants that modern shine. And you can see, this was just an old vase, again, that we got at a thrift store. You can see, let's see if I move that around, the light will catch the gloss. That beautiful gloss finish that you get, again, it seals it, but it also gives you that extra gloss. Here is a great example for someone that had that question earlier. So this is an old E that was maybe from a, um, a home decor store. This was, I think this was maybe gold. We wanted to freshen it up with a pop of color. You can see, I'm gonna wiggle it around to make sure that you guys can see that. From that line up, can you guys see that? is the one gloss and from that line down is the basic one decor eggshell and you can see how beautiful they work together i'm going to wiggle that maybe i'm wiggling it too much i want to make sure you guys no, can it see looks it good they work together they complement each other but you can see they both have a beautiful sheen but one is gloss and one is eggshell i just love that comparison 
And then chalk paint, like Kira had mentioned, would be the matte, matte, matte version of this. But that is just such a beautiful finish. Okay, so the One Decor Gloss, I absolutely love. I love because the palette is those rich jewel tones. I love that there's so many home decor accent pieces that you can do with it. And it works exactly like the One Decor Paint. So these are just little coasters, little wood cookies that we just sanded, didn't have to prime them, didn't have to base coat. And I am just gonna add a simple piece of stencil tape. These formulas, again, work with stencils, work with tape, work with any, any paint technique or finish that you would want to do. I'm gonna shake that just a little. This is one of my favorite colors. This is Cranberry Cocktail. <laughs> I'm gonna use that, like we mentioned earlier, right out of the bottle. I love the eight ounce containers, because you can do that. You can see that beautiful coverage on that raw wood with just one coat. I'm gonna just paint right over my tape. And as it dries, the sheen, you can see that the eggshell will come out or the gloss finish. So while it's wet, they all look the same, but just know as it dries, that beautiful finish comes out on all of your projects. So that is just one coat and it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna set that over, let that dry. And then what I wanna show you guys here, what I'm kinda of doing is mimicking these modern plates that we did. The fun thing about this plate is we got natural wood plates and then we wanted to accent it and show the difference between the gloss and the natural elements of the wood. So that is just such a beautiful difference. And these are for home decor. So I'm kinda of mimicking that modern painting technique. So the cranberry has dried. Now I'm gonna use just the white and I wanna show you that even using a light color over a dark base coat, how it works so well with these beautiful formulas. So this is white gloss, Folk Art Wonder Core white gloss, and I am just gonna create a little modern patch right over that dark cranberry. You can see, like that's truly amazing. You can see putting white over that dark base coat is almost completely covered. You would not even need a second coat. That makes it so much easier to paint if you're doing furniture, if you're doing ombre, if you're doing a bigger project. You don't have to keep doing two and three coats because the coverage is just phenomenal. And someone okay. is asking if you could blend and do an ombre with the gloss just like you can with the eggshell finish. Absolutely. So this is really not an ombre like we did, but this is more of a modern ombre, but you can see where the two colors come together. We wanted a cleaner line here, but absolutely, you would do the exact same technique and you would get that beautiful gloss finish, but with, the, with an ombre pattern. Anything that you do with one, you can do with the other. Again, you can stencil with it, you can do anything with it. You could even do an ombre, you could start out like really glossy and then go all the way to the eggshell. You know, that would be, it'd be beautiful. really beautiful. Yeah, same colors and maybe the finish changes. That yeah. would be gorgeous. So this is just um, the burgundy and then the white dried. And I want to show you guys how to add even a third color right over the top of that to create just a really fun modern palette. So I'm going right into the lard mouth, large mouth jar. Mm -hmm. And I am just going to do some modern brush strokes some over the cranberry and some over the white. But you can see how the colors both work together. They complement each other. They're very trendy based on what you're seeing out there for home decor and gift pieces. They're beautiful. But just the coverage that you get by laying, layering three, you'll get that high gloss finish that you can see in the colors that are already dry. And then all you would do is remove your tape Maybe, there we go. You get that beautiful clean edge and you've just got perfect coasters that will dry to a gloss finish and they can go indoor or outdoor because remember, the primer is in, or the sealer is in the paint. So it's perfect for one step painting and sealing. So somebody has a question. Could okay. you use this paint with our Folk Art Sign Shop mesh stencil screens? Oh, absolutely. Yes. So in fact, we have, um, 
You can, absolutely. And the key with this is because of the gloss, um, it grabs a little bit, a little bit heavier on your stencil. So the only trick that we have found is remove your, your screen right away yep. instead of leaving it on there because the paste gives you a little bit more open time. This works perfectly. Just remove it really quick and wash it. Yep. Wash it with soap and water. This is all water-based. Wash with soap and water and do the same with your sign shop or your stencil or your brushes and then you can use it again and again. That's a great question. Yep. Also, um, can you use this to shade, highlight, and dry brush like our regular folk art? So absolutely, sure. you can get all of that. Absolutely. Again, you can use it like any of our acrylic paints. You can use it like the chalk paint. This is just great because of the finish, because the sealer is included. So we are focusing on big furniture pieces because it's such a popular trend right now. But you can do so much with this. You can blend, you can shade, you can highlight. Absolutely. Yeah. With both. The regular one decor that's eggshell and with the one decor that's gloss. Yeah, those are great questions. Definitely. I hope everybody's sitting at home like staring at that piece of furniture. I know, like, what am me? I gonna do with it? <laughs> <laughs> what color? The color palette is, is absolutely our favorite absolutely part. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys just terracotta pots. Yeah. Again, just the coverage. This is the basic um, one folk art one decor, but you can see this is one coat and the coverage is beautiful. This is one of my favorite colors. This is the coral. And I just want to show you guys how beautiful it base coats on terracotta. This is the coral going directly on that terracotta. You can see that you get good coverage. And then this would dry to the eggshell finish, which is kind of nice on the terracotta because the terracotta is such a natural matte finish. It's nice to have that contrast of the two. You could even tape it off and leave some of the natural terracotta showing to yep. give that, you know, different look That'd and be feel, the different sheens. Sheens are so trendy right now. Right. The difference in the colors may be the same, but the sheen is different, and that is, we're seeing that everywhere. So these paints allow you to do so much with that. Yeah, it's almost, instead of the texture piece, it's all about the sheen right now. Absolutely. Very popular trend. Do we have any more wonderful questions? No, we've got a lot of people watching. Everybody's excited to try this. Um, beautiful colors. Thank you guys for watching us and tuning in. A lot of people were here yesterday, so they're back. So we're excited about that. Tamara's um, putting the link in for you guys in the comments. So you can go to platonline.com slash new to check out all this great new product. And also the link to our YouTube channel so you can check out all the videos on this new great product. So yeah, it looks beautiful, Kirsten. Wonderful. Well, if we don't have any other questions, yeah, no. I wanted to show you guys the sheet again. That yep. is just such an impactful piece. I wanted to show the gloss versus the eggshell. Absolutely. So yeah, I just love that. I love the raw, I love the gloss, I love the eggshell. So it really completes, you know, any home decor piece that you want to tackle. Absolutely. Yeah, Good it makes for it everything. so easy. Yeah, and you don't have to prime it. Remember, that's why everyone loved the chalk yeah. paint, and this is as wonderful. Yep. And someone has a question. They're eight ounce bottles. So it's only the one size. The gloss and the eggshell come in an eight ounce wide mouth bottle. So great for home decor. Great for home decor. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys, thank you so much for joining us, Kirsten. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We will be back today at 3 p.m. We are going to be talking all about Bucilla. So we have a lot of fun stockings and seasonal decor to show you. And you guys go to platonline.com slash new. Check out all this great new product. And thank you all. We will see you guys in a little bit.